Uh, hello, my name is Artur Malinowski. I'm working for Macan, and today I would like to show you how to use basic um, calculations, uh, date time, uh, calculating date time values. And for that, uh, there will, I will show you three functions. One is the um, calculating just the difference between times and and also extracting some parts of, of date. For that purpose, uh, um, there is a list here. I have a start date, date end, and unit, which is just a helpful uh, choice and column. And the resulting three, uh, three columns are the difference. So currently between the date end and date start day in days the difference is 36 day, six days so if I for example change it to to minute let me see is uh, more than 50,000 uh, minutes so um, basically it calculates the difference if you go to the uh, another column which is part of date start currently I'm extracting the same unit minute of the date start here is zero zero so if I change it to for example twenty three minutes I should extract the twenty three minutes because I'm extracting minute. If I try to change it to year I should extract uh, the two thousand nine. Let me leave the row and here it is. So uh, here I'm extracting the year and another column which is uh, the week date week day of the date start so currently it's 17th of february let me just go to february uh, 17th is here so 17th as tuesday it's it's free so if i for example change it to 6 so basically I can uh, here I see that 14 is 7 so starting from 1 to 7 is always a correct week date and how it was built let me just show you how it was built this basic example list settings let's go to mark and work for SharePoint manage actions and I will return to the time so basically mm, that one works. Uh, this uh, actions will be executed when adding rows. So currently we were just updating. So the first one, uh, ca the calculating the difference, is just like this. So we just set to the value unit diff. Let me go here again and show show you that the column is unit diff. So we are saying, please. Uh, assign to unit div the, from the value date end use the method div and so make the difference between the start date using the unit and the given unit and if you go to the to API uh, published on Malkin.com you will see that uh, changing the unit anytime you change the uh, anything in the row, the, this, this is executed and just uh, make, calculate the difference and assigns it to unit div. So that is why we could see here unit div, so currently is zero and again, for example, in seconds, how many seconds? It's more than 3000, 3 million seconds and in a minute, more than 56,000. If we want, if we want to extract the week date, it's uh, it's very easy because we just are saying uh, please assign the weekday function on the start. So and anything that is in the in the column the start, you just put weekday and assign it to the start week date. This column is called the start week date. It is just the internal name uh, of of that field. And again, if you want to extract part time only, we just use the function date part on the date time column, the start, and assign it to title. And again, the title is the internal name of the, 
of the part of the time because we rename the column here but we uh, uh, in, uh, when using scripting we always just write the, the, the using the internal names and one more one more comment here we could uh, write uh, all the I'm sorry we could uh, write all the set commands one after other just in one row so just for my convenience uh, so we could write it like that and just let me copy this so it's it's still the same now we can remove those rows so currently we just execute three commands one after another and not uh, using free update using free updating uh, actions it should be the same so let's check it anytime we, we change in months in days so anytime we, we change anything everything works so that was a very short demo how you can uh, cal easily calculate uh, data values using mark and work for, for sharepoint thank you for your time